Why the Christian God? In this video, we respond to a viewer who asked the question above. A viewer asked, I find your videos interesting, but there is one thing I don't get at all. How does it prove that the Christian God is the right one? Am I missing something? At most, it implies that there is a God, not the Christian God. I am talking about your videos in general, not this particular one. Our response is below. Thank you for your civil comment. Glad to hear you find our videos interesting. I agree that our videos on philosophical theism point to God, as mind that created all of physical reality. They do not directly establish the Christian God, apart from the fact that the Christian God matches the God defined above, as mind that created all of physical reality. The evidence is very strong for God in the sense above. More on the Christian God below. All polytheistic religions point to one highest God, in the hierarchy of gods, who created all of the other lower gods. And all monotheistic religions point to one highest God. That God, is whom we are referring to, with our philosophical theism videos. The one God who is the ultimate cause of all of reality, including all lower, gods, or, spirits, of the polytheistic religions, the biosphere, and humans. My dad was an atheist. I was influenced towards atheism by him and his library of atheist books at home. Later, as an adult, I became an ex-atheist, and a philosophical theist, because of logic, reason, science, and philosophy. I also became a mere Christian, CFCS Lewis, for reasons that I have not yet discussed in any of the videos. Briefly, 1. We have rational evidence for God, as above. 2. The problem of pain and suffering points to Christ. And, 3. Answered prayer in the context of my provisional or transitional Christianity pointed to Christ. And, 4. To the extent that anything can be established historically, the resurrection of Christ is a reasonable and rational historical inference. And that points to the truth of the core of Christianity. And, 5. A continued history of answered prayer in my life, in the context of Christianity, continues to confirm the reality of God's interest and involvement in my life. This continues to confirm the core of Christianity to me. So, item 1, evidence for God, pointed me away from atheism and to the existence of God. Item 2, suffering, pointed me to Christ over other gods. Item 3, answered prayer, pointed me to God answering my prayers in the context of the truth of Christianity. Item 4, historical evidence, pointed to Christ as a reasonable and rational inference, and item 5, answered prayer, continues to confirm the core of Christianity to me. The combination of these bring me to a level of Pascalian certainty about the existence of God, and to the truth of the core of Christianity, enough for me to commit my life to both of these truths. Details. We have discussed item 1, evidence for God, in previous videos. Item 3, answered prayer, is self-explanatory. Item 4, we have discussed in several videos on the resurrection of Christ. I will discuss item 2 below. Item 2. Pain and suffering are real. So, that disconfirms any metaphysics that claims that pain and suffering are not real. E.g., the Maya of Hinduism, and some forms of Buddhism, and some New Age religions. I.e., the claim that pain is a mere illusion becomes meaningless, in the face of the experienced intensity and reality, of my pain and suffering. And that disconfirms any, I am God theology, as in some forms of Hinduism, and the New Age movement. Since if I am God, and I want to get rid of my pain and suffering, but I am completely unable to do so, that indicates that I am not the God who has the power to create the entire physical universe. So, the claim that, I am God, becomes meaningless in the face of my pain and suffering. Ultimately, God is responsible for permitting pain and suffering. So, my heterodox, transitional, view was that God deserves the worst pain and suffering that he permits in his creation i.e., if you cause it, or permit it, you own it, and should experience it. Only the Christian God accepts this, in some sense, by his action, by Christ suffering the worst emotional suffering, and the worst physical suffering anyone can experience in this life. This drew me to Christ over the gods of any other, polytheistic or monotheistic, religion. Item 5. And, a continued history of answered prayer in my life, where my prayers are to the Christian God, continues to confirm the reality of God's interest and involvement in my life. This continues to confirm the core of Christianity to me. Conclusion. This, above, is the intellectual and experiential path that moved me out of atheism, to philosophical theism, and thence to mere Christianity, over any other religion. Thanks to viewer Xantel for the question above. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.